Let's talk about how to see the big picture to supersize your business. Sharon Hornell from here, and our idiom, our expression today is the big picture. Now, this is one of those idioms that they're not exactly sure where the origin came from. They're not sure where it came from. They think it's in the er, came from the early 1900s and it was related to filmmaking, but there's no absolute positive proof. It actually appeared in 1904 in a piece by McGunniff or McGunniff and called the agricultural conquest of the earth but otherwise you know with the uh, advent of the internet and things it's been around many many times yet people don't know exactly where it originated where it came from what does it mean it of course means to step back and look at the bird's eye view i like the bird's eye view or the 30,000 foot view imagining you're in, in an airplane looking down on your business a problem a situation a uh, a challenge something that you need to work on and not just being stuck in the tree being stuck in the weeds really is what it's like a lot of times when we have problems or challenges in our businesses we are so bogged down by the day-to-day -day details we're stuck in the weeds of running our business that we can't step back and look at the problem from another perspective from a different point of view and often oftentimes that's all we need to do is just take a deep breath, step back, go for a walk, come back, and we'll have a, a, a much better solution than we had when we're mired in and being inundated with all the details of the problem. So what are some ways that you can look at the big picture, see the big picture? And I looked this up and I found a couple of different interesting things. One was six ways to help your employees see the big picture, which was interesting. And then there was another one about five ways that you can see the big picture. What are ways for you to see the big picture? To have a big vision, purpose, mission, principles, and all of the things broken down into little bite-sized pieces that other people can be responsible for doing so that you can delegate and you're not doing everything yourself. But in order to do that, everybody has to have the same big picture vision and understanding of where the organization is going, where you want the business to be, what you want the business to become. Maybe not all the details of how you get there, but the overall overarching umbrella of what the business is, why it exists, who it serves, what it's for, the framework of the business needs to be outlined and those are big picture, big picture thinking things. I think of CEOs are tend to be big picture thinkers, whereas C EOs and C CEOs, CFOs and uh, COOs, Chief Operating Officers and Chief Financial Officers, tend to be more detail oriented because their responsibility is to actually implement the big ideas, the big picture of the organization. The CEO, his job, her job is to paint the picture, create the vision of what the business is all about. So what are some ways that you can maybe remember to think from big picture standpoint. I think people tend to fall into one of two groups. They're either big picture thinkers or they're detail oriented. And of course, there's every degree in between. I can actually do both, but I prefer strategy, uh, vision, and looking at the big picture, being more creative and, and thinking of the the big thing that has to be done and then letting other people do the implementation of those things. So how are some of the ways that, that we can do that? Number one, we need to allocate time to actually visioning, thinking of our purpose and, our, and creating the framework for our business. We need to put time aside and actually dedicate time to stepping back from our day-to-day -day responsibilities and imagining and designing, working on our business, I call it, instead of in our business. We need to step back and do that. One of the biggest mistakes I made in my Italian food manufacturing business over all the years was spending way too much time in the weeds, mired in the day-to-day -day operations of the business and not stepping back, taking time, allocating time to do this and working on the big picture. And for a lot of years we struggled in that business because for that very reason, I wasn't having a big picture plan. It was just keep moving, keep moving, grow a little, make a little, sell a little, make a little, sell a little. Horrible company philosophy, by the way, at least in my estimation, from a big picture standpoint. So how else can we do it besides spending time and allocating time to thinking about it. Number two, we could buddy up. We can learn from other people. We can model other people. We can uh, mastermind and network with other people to find out what they're doing. Find out what they're doing in their business. In their, it, it can be with different industries. Oftentimes, 
we can take a strategy from a different industry, apply it to our business, and explode exponentially growth-wise. Because one little idea that another industry has implemented proves that it's a viable idea, and maybe it just hasn't come to our industry yet. We can, okay, so we can allocate time, we can spend time thinking of it, we can dedicate time and resources to the big picture, we can mastermind, buddy up, team up with other people that are, are better at looking at the big picture than we are. We can choose specific goals to focus on or areas or aspects of our business that we want to have a bigger picture view of. Even though our big picture is a global view of our business, we can still have interim and, and departmental big pictures where we can break it down and we can have a big picture for the marketing of our organization, a big picture for the delivery and customer service of our operation, a big picture for the future and where we're taking our operation, things like that. We can also identify first steps. What are the first areas or aspects of our business that we need to have the big picture of? What is it important? Our, of course, our overarching strategy is probably the first big picture that we're going to dive into. But maybe we know that in our industry, we've already got operations down pat, but we're, we're lacking in the area of marketing. So we need a marketing big picture and strategic plan for our organization. And finally, um, we need to ground ourselves. We need to find things that make us feel good and help us to do our best, most creative work, thinking about our overall strategies, our big picture plans, and what we want our business to stand for. How do we want our business to impact the world? How do we want our business to make the world a better place? Uh, so how can we take... and, and the, so those were some of the ideas and some of the ways that I actually step back and look at the big picture. Again, some of us more naturally think of things from the big picture, long-term standpoint. It's kind of like having your legacy goals your, for you personally, your long-term, this is what I want to accomplish in my life goals, and then breaking those down. And part of my life goals, for example, is my business and the mark I want to leave on the world, my contribution. But that's only part of it, right? That's only a part of who I am as a human being. So that's another way to look at the big picture. The big picture for your business, is that your whole life or is that just part of who you are and what you want to contribute to the world? I did get a kick out of the six ways to uh, help your employees see the big picture. And I don't know if I agree with these or not. I think that I do it in a different way, but we each get to bring ourselves to our organization and and do things the way we want. But they said, do things like postcards. Now, I'm not sure how postcards, I'd have to think about this one a little while, are going to help my my team members see the big picture. <laughs> uh, gamification, making, making the big picture and looking at things outside of their own job and tasks and figuring out how they fit into the whole. That, to me, is an example of uh, the big picture and helping people get a big picture thinking. I have... My personal belief is that if people view and if they actually are owners of the business, they have a much better chance of seeing the big picture and understanding how they contribute to the whole. Uh, field trips was another suggestion. Bring a friend to meetings was a suggestion. Mentoring circles, which I think that is a good one. Um, in, I like to have mentoring across uh, disciplines. So somebody from marketing mentors somebody in operations. Somebody in operations mentors somebody in uh, customer service, etc. I like to mix it up so that people get to see outside their own area of study, their field of study, their area of expertise, or their discipline. Uh, but mentoring circles are a good way to help people see outside their little box in the organization and see how it ties into other places and other functions. And finally, the one was teaching operational reviews. And operational reviews, to me, are audits and overviews and summaries of the, of the overall operation of the business. And to involve people in those from different disciplines and different departments helps them to see and understand how everything works together to create the synergy that we need to supersize and grow our business. Love to know your experience with the big picture. Do you... Uh, do you have experience with this? Are you a big picture thinker, a strategic thinker, or more of a detailed day-to-day -day operations uh, thinker? Uh, like I said, neither is right or wrong. We've got to have both to make our organizations work, but seldom is it found in the same person. Like, it's not definitely not found in me. 
that's it. Have an awesome day. Share, share your experience with this in the comments below. And I will be with you tomorrow to share another leadership idiom, what it means, where it came from, if we know where it came from, and how you might use it in your business today. Have an absolutely awesome day. Any questions, hit me up. Take care.